All right, this is what I'm thinking for my next project, and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, start putting clay on one of these armatures. It's, it takes some thinking about what you're going to do. You, No matter how much of a shortcut this is for the artist, you still have to know anatomy, and you still have to uh, carry it out through the uh, sculpture. And uh, get everything situated here. I'm thinking of having a pioneer girl sitting on top of the horse. Or somebody from the prairie. I don't know. I just haven't come up with the idea yet. And I'm just trying to work it out of my mind. Exactly what I'm going to do. But for now. I'm going to go for... The first step. As I've mentioned in the past, my I paint off colored parts that go in my sculpture just to make them all look like clay. And I'm going to do the same thing with this uh, armature. Now, you don't have to do this. I'm, I've done it before without doing this on these type of armatures. But uh, this is the first time I'm trying this. I've talked about how I get the uh, paint to match the color of the uh, clay I use and uh, it just makes things easier. So that if a little bit of the armature is showing through the uh, clay, it I won't have a big white area sticking out. Okay. So that's basically all this video is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and do this several days ahead of when I plan to really start this. Just so that the uh, paint is fully dry by the time I get to it. Now I've worked out the uh, base size. And I've drawn it out on the uh, the board. I want it narrow, so that if somebody wants to put on a fireplace, they can. Now I'm using an indoor water-based paint. And it's, uh, when it dries, it dries dull. You don't want it to be shiny. Actually, it's kind of nice to be able to tone down the whiteness of the uh, armature. You, if you have a uh, gentleman or a friend who does oil painting, 
check with them to see if they've got any old brushes that they will probably just throw it away because their oil painting brushes wear out after a while and they don't become useful to them. And so if they've got any of those, they probably just give you them. And those are really the best brushes for doing this with because they don't leave hairs in the paint. And also if you're using paint thinner or some other liquid to lighter fluid to uh, smooth your clay, your plastiline clay, oil painter brush is the best because that doesn't leave bristles in the uh, clay. Now this is only taking a couple minutes, maybe 10 minutes at the most to do this. And uh, it's kind of satisfying. I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, figure that goes with the uh, horse. Now the horse is at one quarter scale and so is this uh, armature of a human. Now, I don't know whether I'll use the foam head for my figure. It gives me the scale for it, but I just might make it out of regular clay like I normally do. But I don't know. We'll play by ear. One day at a time. All right, I'm just going to mount the figure up there so it can dry on the, uh, the horse. I'm going to take it off uh, when I work on the horse. And when I get the horse to the point where I can add the figure, that's when the figure will go on. But it's a good place for this to dry. It's fully painted and ready for clay. I might just get, well, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, so I'm just going to hold off on everything. I may even change the, the whole position of the horse. I don't know yet. I'm still at that stage where I'm trying to visualize it in my own brain. And I'm going through all kinds of reference material that I've got and photographs and stuff like that. The way I anchored the uh, legs to the uh, board was with uh, uh, drywall screws and uh, putting them into the board, not all the way because you don't want to have uh, the board scratching the surface of a table if you are setting it onto a fine table. Um, you want to just put it in far enough to hold steady and then you tape or wire the bottom of the hoofs and leaving enough room for the hoof and uh, it stabilizes the uh, figure of the horse and I've got it even on the the hoof that's not going to be attached to anything it's going to be actually out here by itself so anyway that's uh, it for today and uh, probably for this week um, I'm going to be busy this week, and part of next week, I will be going up to Virginia City for my driving test or driver's license renewal. I went to the uh, parking lot of this grocery store here locally. They are supposed to be there, but they never did show up and with their mobile unit, so 
I had to make a, an appointment. And it was a good thing I found that out because I found out I had to have a birth certificate too. And I didn't have one the day I went to get my driver's license renewed. Now, as far as the figure of the woman or the van or the whatever it's going to be, um, that will all be worked out uh, as I get started on this thing. I'm just thinking right now of, of doing Pioneer Woman. I kind of like the idea of doing another feminine piece and something that's gentle and, and relaxing and, and kind of inspiring. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Uh, week and I'll see you next time when I actually start doing something. I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what I'm thinking of doing. All right. Good night. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.